really did take Charles ages for him to come to realization that he is the current monarch. And the riots happening back in the UK, the hate crimes that are taking place back in the UK needed his statement just to kind of condole with the families that have lost their loved ones, just to show that, you know what, we are a country. There was just this whole story the other day whereby it's been stated or reportedly that uh, it was stated that Charles is kindly requesting for unity and that uh, he got multiple backlash because people really got back on him and people were like, if he can't maintain unity within his own family how can he be able to do so for an entire nation in chaos in riots at the moment and was so much supportive of that because he hasn't cleared as an example he hasn't shown that there is a something known or something called a unity within his own family because it's a state of charity begins at home and it seems to have lost its way with charles's home and today it's been stated that finally Charles said something about all the riots and head cries after weeks. Like he waited for people to lose their lives. He waited for properties to be damaged. He waited for people's, you know, properties to go. People's businesses went on losses for him to be able to say something. Windsors aren't bothered by the risk of not being re-elected in the next term. And that's why probably, you know, they act with a lot of arrogance and total indifference or apathy. Only exception is when they can get some easy publicity without being bothered in the list. That's what they are basically insinuating. Too little and too late. And he did because he was pushed to do it. He doesn't really feel that way. He likes what was happening. He likes what he's taking place. And that's why I always tend to say that Charles, he's a big loser. He is indeed such a loser. Because this now, like, it just insinuates or just... Uh, Kinda tells people that you guys don't have a leader. You guys have uh, monarchs who feel the entitlement and the fact that nothing will be done towards them, whether they act or they don't. The fact that they feel the whole entitlement over the institution and that there's nothing that can be done to them. You know, where I come from, whereby you as a leader, once you're elected or voted in, and you don't do anything right as per people's expectation, there's something called the impeachment. We do impeach you, whereby you can be sent out of that office. So for them, I bet they feel the whole entitlement of there's nothing that can be done to us. And that's why they do what they do. They act the way they act. With the whole notion in their head that at the end of the day it's us back in the summer in 1997 the prince then prince charles worked overtime to throw his mother under the bus princess diana's death let's be real he didn't have to work that hard queen elizabeth's reluctance to acknowledge or honor diana's life came naturally to her Queen Elizabeth II refused to budget uh, from her, not going to do it for a full week. All while Charles positioned uh, himself at the heartbroken and devastated ex-husband who now had uh, to raise Diana's two sons all by himself. Back then, Charles was better at reading a nation mood than his mother. Something shifted, uh, though. As a major crisis unfolded in England over the past two weeks, Charles has mostly done nothing. He was on vacations in Scotland watching the Highland Games. People were rioting, committing hate crimes, and arson for more than a week before Charles's staff told people that he had asked 
for daily updates. Even as late as Thursday and Friday last week, Buckingham Palace was still maintaining their position that Charles would not say anything or make any community visits. My guess is that downing our streets was like, nope, you have to, you have got to say something at the very least. So probably the statement is out and about and released after a back and forth whole thing. Because this and Charles, they aren't feeling what people on the ground, what the Brits have to deal with. And this is basically karma working so fast. I don't know what Charles he'll be loved to be remembered or as part of his legacy, but up to this particular juncture myself, I can't tell a thing. Of what Charles wants to be remembered of, I can't tell. I don't know what you're thinking, what you have to say about this, but he lacks the qualities of a God leader. He lacks every single bit of that and that's why now it's burning up it's the nation is burning up yet the leader is just out on vacations at living at his best life if i'm to say oh my it appears that all of the vacationing cut years were called back in as i said i also believe uh, downing uh, down uh, downing street probably had something to say as well Keir Starmer just became Prime Minister a month ago, while Charles has been a public servant for 50, for 50 plus years. Starmer needs Charles's political cover and vice versa. As many critics are saying, the public silence for more than a week has a huge forced error for Charles. As far as better luck than never, Solutions this week was the parlors acknowledging a call to Stammer and the police. And the VAC statement about community and respect, the bare minimum, many days to let. That's basically Charles. I bet these people have this whole ideation and the fact that they feel that the entitlement, they have power, they are the head of state. And they know nothing can be done to them. It's so unfortunate that Brits have to deal with this. It's so unfortunate that this is Charles. I bet the mother would have acted better. I bet if Harry was in such a position, would have taken actions as fast as he could. So applause to Diana and those who worked before the current institution of the supposed called working royals. That failed the Brits, that failed the, the people who lead, who led before them. Charles is a whole version of incompetency and irrelevancy, and that's why he has to deal with that child. That's why he has to deal with Camilla. He has to deal with William and Kat, because they all portray the incompetency and the irrelevancy at once. That's why the monarchy is sinking, and there's no one to save the sinking ship. I don't know what's your tag. Just let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hoping to see you guys in our next more videos.